Hey everyone, this is a short video to give everyone a warning about DDR3 and Intel's upcoming Socket B motherboards. Socket B will be following Socket 775, and the warning is, is that you cannot use memory that uh, uses more than 1.65 volts if you put mem uh, DDR3 that uses more than 1.65 volts then you can fry the CPU so uh, I know obviously that a lot of high-end socket 775 motherboards are currently using DDR3 so hopefully um, any of you guys out there that are already using a pretty expensive system to begin with uh, if you're thinking about going over to a socket B when it comes out you're going to want to check uh, make sure that your memory if you're going to transfer it to, to a new system doesn't use um, more I'm not sure if it is at or over 1.65 volts uh, I would go back and check the inquirers website that's where they found it and they basically um, they got this information off of an Asian website because um, that's where all, all the stuff's coming out of uh, just to give you an idea of how big of an issue this is I went on Newegg and I did I did a count there are out of all every single um, item individual item that you can purchase uh, for DDR3 there are 62 sticks um, or packages, well, not necessarily, you know, because they're single and there's double packages uh, where you can buy like dual channel. So just items like pages with an individual package with an item or two items, doesn't matter what. Uh, there are 62 items uh, that are that are at or under 1.65 volts and there are 110 items that are over 1.65 volts so yeah uh, I figured I'd give you guys a little heads up on that so uh, I don't think this video is pretty long so uh, like I said <coughs> my personal upgrade preference is when Intel does actually decide to start shipping quad cores and um, I can't remember who, uh, who it is offhand but I know I'm giving this one guy a tough time Intel's not hasn't been shipping quad cores those are called dual dual cores when you take two dual core um, pros, um, cores you stick them together that's not a quad core it's a dual dual core I call it like I see it so yeah, you technically get four cores, but the the packaging itself is still technically two dual cores. Huh? So, but um, but yeah, in terms of performance, Intel obviously is leading AMD on that. So anyway, um, for my personal preference, if I'm going to go from a socket 939 to a new socket, which I obviously will be because there's no upgrade path for 939. If I'm going to be t having to buy new memory, because look, I had to go from, I had, I was using my ATI All-in-One 9700 Pro for five years. Okay, so I went from that so to a 7900 GT um, on a socket 939, and then they were going AM2. So I was like, I was pretty pissed off. I was like, there's no way I'm going to go from an AGP. Um, system and upgrade the motherboard, the memory, the video card, and the power supply. All, all this not happening. Technically, if if you if you think about it, I'm using the same system as my Penny 120. If you th think about it, because I've never purchased a whole new system, and technically um, that Penny 120 was given to me by my grandfather. Um, there's always been a part that was upgraded, you know. I uh, went, you know, this use the what Edo memory is it? I don't even know. Um, that went from my Penny 120 to my 
AMD K6350, and then I put the SRAM into that. And if you think about that, that SRAM went all the way up to my Pentium 3 800. And then, for example, I use the same case probably for my Pentium 3 800 that I use for my Pentium 4 2.26. And well, I didn't use the RJAM for that. Yes, I had RJAM. You can mock me all you want on that one. Um, and you know, and then I went to a uh, socket 754, which is at my neighbor's house right now as we speak. You know, socket 939. I've had so many socket 939s. But yeah, um, my next upgrade will be a six core. Now I'm hoping AMD comes up with a six core before uh, we die. But um, the main point is is that I'd like to go with a six core, so when I buy a new socket, I will have a I'm going from two to six cores. Uh, now I won't be upgrading until there's a six core CPU, and um, I can get native SATA six gigabit, which is the third generation of serial ATA, because SSDs. Specifically, Intel's SSD, um, the same technology that uh, powers your USB flash drives, are saturating the 3 gigabit version, which is the second generation. And uh, for those of you who are not aware, there's SLV and MLV. And I know SLV, I think, is. Oh, another video, whatever. I'm not going to go into it. Um, Yes, I'm just. I was thinking about um, talking about something else in another video, where people would like constantly hound me, and then I'd have to like put up some disclaimer: don't hound me about this. But yeah, so um, oh okay, that's what I wanted to think. Um, don't hound me about the voltage on your memory. You should be able to look this stuff up on Google. Look it up, okay? But don't hound me about it. Um, because I'm I'm now getting people hounding me about web design questions and. I'm not gonna, I'm not here to answer. Like, can you help me with 5,000 lines of code? No. But if you ask me a very specific question, like for example, hey, um, how do I salt and pepper a hash? That I can't answer. So, and most of you are like, huh? But yeah. So anyway, that's how things work on the internet. Anyway, so DDR3, don't buy memory that uses voltages at 1.65 volts or over and I'm not sure if it'll work with 1.65 or under or if it won't work with 1.65 or under. but we're still a ways from that and I'm sure that will be more out there about that so anyway um, I've got my 8800 GT back on the motherboard the working one and I'm not seeing any problems here so just gonna kind of let it sit in there and keep an eye on the temperatures. And uh, just playing The Witcher. And honestly, guys, come on, the controls and the camera just not working for me. And uh, but the game looks cool, so eh. But um, I'm gonna probably download some two gigs for a demo. Okay, I'm running out of time probably, so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that and upload the uh, the video. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys around.